Okay, hey YouTube. So it's this end here, and so this is the third time I'm trying to do this video, so I'm just going to try and make it as quick as possible, uh, because for some reason my OBS is being weird. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change, edit the uh, trainer rival interactions. Uh, so it's sorry, the fights between the trainer and the rival in Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> so you're going to need a software called Advanced Trainer, I'll leave a link down below to it. And so what you do is you just want to open it up here. Hit file, open ROM, open your fire red ROM. And so your rival is actually named Terry in the game, uh, not Blue or whatever they say on Bulbapedia. His name is Terry, as you can see here. So here's his little sprite and such. And so if you go to, over to uh, Pokemon data, as you'll see, this is just when he has a single Pokemon from the very beginning of the uh, game. So this is the Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander, and as you can see, he only has one Pokemon uh, for each each one of those. So that's the very first fight that you do with Terry. Those are the three possible values for Terry in the first fight that you do after you collect the Pokemon from Professor Oak. Um, <coughs> yeah, but after that, it obviously gets a bit different. So you have uh, these have already all been edited, by the way. I've already changed some of these around. So I'm just going to give you guys that heads up be, uh, beforehand so you guys aren't too shocked about why my thing is a bit weird. I've already added at least one Pokemon to all the different variations of Terry, and for the second variation I've added two. So in this instance we have um, <coughs> Pidgey, so you don't really know which variation of Terry this is until you go down one and then you see Squirtle. So if you choose Bulbasaur as your starting Pokemon, this will be the trainer that you verse on Route 22 when you walk up from the grass this will be the first encounter that you see that counts as the first encounter and then that's one two three and this will be the second encounter when you verse him on the bridge uh yeah this will be the second encounter when you verse him on the bridge just after uh, cerulean cerulean celadon city i don't remember what it's called sorry um but yeah, so I've already added in an extra Pokemon on top of that. So for example, this would be if you chose Charmander, you'd be versing him. So normally he'd have a Pidgey level 9 and a Squirtle level 9. <laughs> but I've also added in a Trico level 7 on top of that. Or in this variant, which is the one that's for my current ROM, there's a Pidgey level 9, a Bulbasaur level 9, the Torchic level 9, and I also added a Machoke level 3. Just as an example, because like I said, I've already tried shooting this video previously three more, three times before this. So I'm just going to use, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use this as like my new, new person. So it's going to be a five Pokemon fight this time. And so you'll see once I hit the five button, it said repoint needed. This is very important. Make sure you're checking to see this every single time that you're making changes to the different Pokemon in a party. If it says repoint needed, what you need to do is go over here to offset and click repoint. And this is basically changing the hex value for the uh, Pokemon trainer to allow the amount of bytes that need to be added to the uh, game. Ba er, yeah, basically to be added to the game in hex code to allow for this change to happen. So what you want to do is you just want to hit Control c or Command-C if you're on a Mac, and then just Command-V, and that'll copy and paste it up to the, and then just copy and paste it up to this new offset. And there you go, the repoint's been done. <laughs> so now we'll move on to adding another Pokemon. So this is very simple, it's got the list of all the Pokemon that you could want. Uh, so in this case, I guess we'll go, I don't know, sure, let's go with a Rayquaza level three with so yeah so, so you'll probably have this grayed out but what you can do is you can select here you have a couple of different choices so you can select whether or not the pokemon has no item and just the default attacks that it would have at level three set up by the game beforehand or no item with custom attacks and then you can select the attacks down here custom item with just the default attacks or custom item custom attacks so i have custom item custom attacks on so I'm going to change the held item to an Orin Berry, which will give him a bit more health. And then I'm going to change the attacks to Leer, oh, oops. Scary Face, um, Mega Punch, and uh, I don't know, something random. Sure, jump kick. Why not? 
because that makes sense. And then just uh, hit save on the bottom corner here. Make sure you save after you've made changes to each of the Pokemon that you want to change. Um, otherwise, you can get a bit of a glitch where it'll just come up as question marks all over again like it would when you add a new Pokemon. It would just go back to being this. So yeah, once you've got all that stuff set up, there's no repoint needed here. Everything's been repointed. You've set up all the new Pokemon that you want to add. Just hit save down in this bottom right and then also make sure to come up here to file and then save the ROM so that it actually overwrites the data to the ROM because you've just hit save down here it's just saved your changes locally to the app and then you have to hit save ROM to actually apply the changes to the ROM itself okay so now we're gonna go into fire red and I will actually show you the fight now if it cuts out for a second here and it gets I'm uh, it might cut out here my my capture software is being weird so my obs is being a little bit weird right now so i'm sorry if that happens uh you guys might be able to see that kind of flickering sort of stuff i don't know what's going on with that that's some weird obs thing so yeah uh what we're gonna do is we're just gonna skip through all of this And so now we will just walk down here, go across. I think it might be because I was accelerating the speed of the uh, emulation the last time I was here. So yeah, Route 22. And so this is the first encounter you have with Gary just after you fought him initially. So yeah, all, both of them are both named AAA. And so he just does his normal spiel about how you can't fight the Pokemon League yet and all that good garbage. And then as you can see he has five Pokemon now. And so let's go Ember. And Oh, I know what happened. Sorry, if you set custom attacks, you have to set the custom attacks for every single Pokemon. You can't just set it for one. Sorry about that. Uh, here. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so the Machoke, which has custom attacks put on, and the Rayquaza, which have custom attacks, will both be perfectly fine, but everything else will only be able to use Struggle because of the fact that those are the only moves that it has because there's no move set. Uh, so I'll show, you what, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I'm just going to scratch. Hopefully it won't kill him. Yeah, so as you can see, he can use his abilities like Bubble Beam, because I added that as a joke. Um, so yeah, what happened there with the Pidgey, the reason that it struggled, which is what I'll just show you right now really quickly, is if we go back into Advanced Trainer, and we go Open ROM, Fire Red, and then go back to Terry. Do, 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 do. I think it was number four, wasn't it? Ah, this one, yeah. So as you can see here, it's got no no attacks. Once you have custom items set for one Pokemon, you have to do it for every single Pokemon. So you have to change every single attack individually for each Pokemon. Just be wary of that. I completely forgot about that. Otherwise, all of your trainers will just have the ability to use, for their Pokemon to use Struggle. Um, but yeah, uh, beyond that, that's how you change the uh, rival battles in Pokemon Fire Red. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.